overall, I think that Hypro did a pretty good job on the Air Jordan 4 Bread 2018. Again, you can't go wrong. Um, it is a hard shoe to replicate. Hey guys, what is going on? It is your boy Walk Sauce, and I'm back with another review. Again, we got another package with a tracking number that wasn't sent to me, so I'm not sure which shoe this is, but I'll have to go through my notes, see which shoe it is, and I'll put it in the title in the description. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so looking at the label, I do know what this is right off the bat. So I got a glimpse at the label, and I think that this is the Air Jordan 4 Bread. Um, I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, all right. So taking a look at the label, everything looks on point. We got a flappy USB tag. We actually have the entire label coming off, but that is no worry. Um, this is an older shoe anyway, so that actually looks good. Um, and then we just got a standard Jordan 4 box apart from that. Let's go ahead and take off the lid. All right. So let's take a look at this one quickly and then we'll go over the details on the other pair. I'm liking what I'm seeing, I must say. So this is what the front cages look like. We're seeing four to five holes, which is pretty good on this pair. Uh, we want to see four and a half to five. Um, this is an older Jordan 4, so we are going to see five holes um, on the bread. Let's go ahead and set one of the pairs and the box aside and look at this one in detail. All right, so here is the Air Jordan 4 bread, fresh out of the box. This is from Hype Road. Um, I do think that they did a pretty good job on it. Um, there are a couple things, you know, this is the toughest Air Jordan retro to replicate. Um, the colorway not really being important since it's pretty bland, but uh, just the shoe model itself is really hard to replicate. Um, let's start with the side cage. So you can see it's parallel with the lace wing on the Air Jordan 4 Bread 2018. That's exactly what we want to see. Um, and the air bubble has a square form on the back side and a circle form on the front side. And then this medial strip right under the cage and then under that are both the right size. So that is good. Moving on to the outsole, we do have a hint of red with some gray and, and white. Moving on to the front, again, the cages aren't perfect, but uh, you know, for what it's worth, I would say it's about a nine out of 10 or an eight and a half out of 10. Uh, moving on to the inside, this side is looking really good, um, just like the other side on the outside. So, you know, this is a 10 out of 10, just like the outside. Um, and then moving on to the back, I would say that this is a 9.5, if not a 10 out of 10. That being because the Nike Swoosh Air is positioned perfectly and is the right size. Um, and then the inside of the tongue does have perfect stitching uh, and it has the flipped Air Jordan. This shoe tree is actually a little different. Um, I do like how they did include that on the Air Jordan 4 Bread 2018. And then moving on to the tongue, you can see that the spacing in between the ball and the stitching is perfect. And then the actual jump man itself does look good. You know, the shape and the form is good. And then the positioning from the edge of the patch itself and the stitching is good. So that's a good tongue, guys. Overall, I think that Hypro did a pretty good job on the Air Jordan 4 Bread 2018. Again, you can't go wrong. Um, it is a hard shoe to replicate. Clean shoe, not many flaws, if any. Um, again, tough model to replicate. If you did enjoy this video and you're new to the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe. There's a lot of dope content coming. Hit that like button. And of course, leave your comments. What do you think about this shoe? Do you want to see any other shoe from Hype Road? Or what shoe do you want to see next and from what seller? I'm trying to buy as much as I can of what you guys request. Anyways, guys, it's Walk Sauce. Peace.